In this screencast, we're looking at how the chemical potential changes for vapor and for liquid as a function of pressure at a fixed temperature. And what we're going to use is the equation of how Gibbs free energy changes with temperature. So the th differential of the Gibbs free energy is equal to this, where V is volume and S is entropy. And we're, we're going to look at constant temperature, which means this term is gone. And this tells us for a larger volume, we're going to get a larger change in Gibbs free energy for a certain pressure change. Well, the other thing that, since we're interested in chemical potential, the Gibbs free energy is equal to the chemical potential for a single component. So I want to emphasize we're talking about just a one component system. In that case, the Gibbs free energy and the chemical potential are identical. And now if we look at a plot where we use the volumes of the two phases, we look at how the chemical potential changes with pressure. So here we notice the green line for vapor has a very large slope relative to liquid because the volume of the vapor is large relative to the volume of the liquid. So, so this line here is not horizontal, but it has a much smaller slope. So on this scale, it's difficult to see. And then we have solid lines indicating the stable phase and the dashed line is chemical potential, the phase that is not going to be the equilibrium phase. So at low pressure, we have vapor. And then at high pressure, we have liquid. And that point, that transition point at a given temperature, that's the, the boiling point, the boiling pressure. And you'll notice on this plot that it says the temperature is greater than the triple point temperature. Let's just look at a pressure temperature diagram to understand why that is. So here in the pressure temperature diagram, this point here is the triple point. Diagram on the left, the chemical potential says we're at a temperature higher than the triple point. So that means going in this direction, you can see we have at a given temperature, we have vapor liquid equilibrium. Here, vapor phase, I raise the pressure in the liquid phase, but I have to be higher than the triple point temperature. Lower than that, a vapor, when I raise the pressure, will become a solid. So hopefully this clarifies the relation between chemical potential, phase transitions, where the important idea is that the phase with the lower chemical potential is the stable phase of the equilibrium.